Okay, first and foremost, I do not regret. Let me start from there. I do not regret because the idea, it came from a good place. And it is not a Mutai Kagwa decision. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's an effort by the government. This was even announced by the president himself. It was an effort to try and roll back so that people don't go hungry. Part of the, part of the president's effort is to try and see that Kenyans do not go hungry. These are people who are used to working in a hotel, working in a butchery, working in, a, um, in, a, in an income earning facility that do not need government help. They don't need government help usually. So the idea is, why do we want, we are trying so hard not to transport people who usually don't need help to become people who need welfare. It's a whole purpose of reopening these places and some of the work that you see ongoing. But it's just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate that um, uh, that is the case. As for whether we will roll back and close them all over again, you know, is a measure that is on the table. There is nothing that is not on the table. But we are trying as much as we can to ensure that uh, that is not what we do. If we can get people behaving. So enforcement, enforcement is also going to be part of the measures that we are going to take. And if somebody is, mis is, mis is misbehaving, there is nothing to stop us from deregistering that Italy permanently. Or for the next six months, there is nothing to stop us from doing that. It's within the law. Because all we need to do is that the measures that have been taken in the midst of a pandemic, in accordance with the Public Health Act, to prevent those people and to prevent uh, further infections from happening, then we will be closed for as long as there is uh, this pandemic.